before the break, we spoke about cost price. Yeah. How do I get selling price? Well, it's cost plus markup. Good. Okay, so in these questions, you need a markup in order to calculate the selling price. Sometimes it's given, sometimes it isn't. If they do right. give you the selling price, then we need to work backwards to get the cost price because right. we need to account for both. Okay. That's the big difference here. So that you're, you're double accounting for every amount in terms of splitting it between cost and markup. Okay. Okay, that's the big difference. So in exercise 9.2, again, we need to look at the required. So the required wants four accounts here. They want branch inventory, they want inventory to branch, they want branch expenses, and then this new account, branch adjustment. We'll discuss why we have an adjustment account just now. Okay, let's first draw up those four T accounts. Okay, so I'm gonna take four accounts and I'm going to put that on a separate sheet. Okay, exercise 9.2. <coughs> All right, let's delete all the stuff that we don't need and then we'll create these accounts. Okay, so we know we need branch inventory. We need inventory to branch. Um, oh. What else did they say we needed? Branch adjustment. And branch, branch adjustment and branch expenses, right? Branch adjustment and then branch expenses. expenses. Okay, so no bank in this one. Okay, so those are the different accounts. Okay, I'm going to add a few notes to this. Okay, again, branch inventory is whose account? The branch account. Yes, okay, branch. <coughs> and inventory to branch? Head office account. Good. <coughs> branch adjustment. I'm going to put a word above here. This is looking at the margin slash markup <coughs> slash profit. Okay, that's what you're looking at here in the branch adjustment. You're adjusting for the difference between cost and selling. Okay. Branch expenses, normal account, an expense that's going to be recording what the branch is spending money on. Okay. Right, so let's go back to the question and let's get our easy marks. Opening and closing balances. Good. All right, so 9.2 starts. They give you a note here about the branch at selling price. Okay, they don't have to tell that to you. Um, they won't in the exam. Right, you're going to have to pick that up from the question. Right, so what stands out for me here is that point. Right, because now you know that this question is different to the one that we just looked at. Okay. Okay, and this is more likely the option that will come up is because it's because you're going to have to do a few more workings and then they can allocate markings for the workings. Yeah, right, so how much is the cost price? Well, half of the selling price. Well, the cost price will be 100. The yep. markup is 50. Yes, yes, yes. That's okay, right. so we need to write that down. Okay, so we need a bit of mathematics here. Cost price, yeah. markup equals selling the right. cost is a hundred because that's the base the markup yeah. is how much 50 percent yeah. so the selling would be 150 correct and that's yeah. the ratio that you're going to need for working out certain amounts and then once you've got the amounts then you just record it in those t accounts okay okay first balance that we have in the question is for which account uh, invent, um, yeah, inventory sent to branch. Good. So if it's sent to the branch, which accounts are you going to affect? Head office inventory to branch and branch inventory. Good. Okay. So when looking at this account, do you agree it's at selling price? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. So what will inventory be measured at at the head office? Um, at cost price. Good. Okay, so the cost is going to be here. Inventory to branch. How much did they give? They <coughs> gave? <coughs> they gave 18,750. All right, but that included a markup of 50%. Yes. Okay, so 18,750. 18,750 yep. is the selling. Can you work out the cost? Do you know how to do that? Yeah, less 50%. All right, so work it out quickly. Let's see what you get. Okay, so let me just see. So 18, 
9375. Yeah. Okay, that's not correct. Okay, the working is 18750 times 100 divided by 150. Okay, that's the working to get the cost. Alright, so 12, because have a look at this. If I take this and times it by 50%, I get 6250. 6250 oh. is half of that. If I add those two amounts, I get 18750. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay. Sure. okay. Okay. So just be careful with that working. Make sure you're timesing by 100 divided by the cost plus markup. Okay. Times 100 divided by 150. Is that right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So where do I put the cost? You just told me earlier. It affects whose account? The head yeah, office. The head office account, yeah. Yes, so head office is going to equal that. And then, you know this account that we spoke about earlier? This is the margin account. Okay, the okay. margin is going to record how much is actually sitting at the head office. Okay, yeah, because how much is sitting at the head office? Oh, not head office. Um, at the branch from the head office. 18, 7, 50. Do you agree? Okay, so they would have gotten the... 12500 and they would have gotten the 66250. Okay. Does that make sense? Let's highlight that. Okay. Okay, that's what's coming into the branch from who? The head office. The head office gave them 12 and a half, but that contained a markup or a margin of how much? 650. Okay, so branch inventory will have inventory to branch <coughs> and branch adjustments. Okay. Okay, so this is what you would be recording in the branch inventory account. Inventory, branch inventory, branch inventory. Okay, so do you see how your debits and credits match there? There's the debit, there's the credits. Happy with that bit? Yep. Great. Next. Cash sales. Where does this go? <coughs> Cash sales. Well, you will credit your inventory account. Good. Well done. Bank is going to decrease the inventory because you've sold. Yeah. All right. And you sold stock worth 17? 918. 918. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, so that's the bank amount. Right, next. Huh? So you, you will not have a credit a debit for that? You won't have a debit for it because they didn't ask for the bank. The bank account. You okay, you're the right. Bank. There would be a debit for the bank if there was yeah. a T account for it. All right, perfect. Okay, good. Next. Okay, so next is returns to head office. So? So now I would debit the uh, inventory to branch account. Good. With cost or with markup? Well, they said they had selling price, but they will only take it back at cost, I suppose. Yes, that's correct. Good. So what was the amount including markup? So 186. 186. Okay, so work out those two figures quickly. So 186 times 100 divided by 150. It's 124. That's correct. Great. Okay, so you're... Times 50% is 62. Yes, okay, there you go, you've got it. All right, okay. so where is that going to go? So that 124 would be a debit at the inventory to branch. Perfect. Yeah. That 62 would be... Let me just think about it. 62 will go here because that's the markup. Okay, so that's a branch adjustment, okay? Yes, okay, because the adjustment refers to the markup or the profit. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Good. And where's the um, credit going to go? The credit will go to branch inventory. Good. Okay, so you're going to have two amounts there, one for the branch adjustment.
and one for the inventory to branch. So you can't just put there 186, you have to no, put both. you have to split it because they're in different accounts. All right. Okay, you're referencing this amount there, see? And you're okay. referencing this amount here. They're different accounts that you have to show it separately. If you show it as one amount, you'll probably get half the marks. You, they okay. won't mark it wrong, but they just won't give you all the marks because you haven't, you haven't disclosed it correctly. Okay, perfect. Okay, next. Okay, so next is sundry expenses paid by head office. Okay, where does that go? It'll be bronze expense account. Good. 4760. Yeah. Bank. Perfect. Next. Yep. Um, okay, so that's it. As simple as that. Yes, because okay. it's a branch expense. You okay, said go to the branch expenses. You're right. Okay. Now we're looking at additional information. Yes. So now, what number one we saw it earlier, we read it. We, we know the branch is using a mark of 50. So that's fine. Now we need to look at this. Okay, thoughts. What's happening here? A burglary took place during the year and 55 rand in cash and inventory to the value of 36 was stolen. But no entries were made to the books. Okay, so cash went down, so that'll be a bank. Okay, who's cash? Well, the, the, the branch is cash. Okay, so this isn't bank because bank is for the head office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we record it as an, an adjustment or as an expense? As an, an expense. adjustment. Okay, okay, it's an adjustment to what happened. So the burglary took place at the branch. Yeah, so we would credit the adjustment account. You would credit, no, it's not profit. Uh, it's uh, cash okay. that was taken. So okay. it's branch expenses and branch inventory. That's where you'll show the cash that's taken. Okay. All right, because it's the operations of the branch. Okay. All right, so 55 for the... So it is an expense. So you put it through as an expense. Yes, it is because it's theft. Okay, sharp. All yeah. right. Okay, it's a theft. It's theft. All right, theft. Okay. Okay, it's an expense. Theft is an expense that a company needs to provide for. Right, and right. then five fifty-five here, which is the branch expense. Okay. Okay, then there were thirty-six rand as well. What is that for? So that'll be a, a credit on the branch inventory as well. Why? Because the stock went down. Was Good. Stolen. Stock was stolen. So if stock is stolen, what accounts no. will you affect? Bronze inventory. And? Um. And I suppose the adjustment. Yes. Okay. Because now you've lost stock that the head office would have given you. Okay. What is the amount? Thirty-six rand. That's selling price. Forty-six selling. Okay. So again, we need to work out those figures. So it's thirty-six. Oh, thirty-six. Yeah. 36. Okay, so let's work that out. 36 times 100, divide by 150, close brackets. 24. and 12. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to go where? So that is bronze inventory. Yes. Okay, okay, we need more lines here. We're running out of space. Um, let's move this down. Okay. So branch inventory is going to be credited with the 24 and the 12. Right. right, why? Because they've sold. Okay, 24 is a reduction because the theft was stolen. All right, yeah. so in my branch expense, I'm going to have stolen stock. Okay. Okay, how much was the stolen stock? It's so not an adjustment, it's now an expense. It's an adjustment and the expense. You're right, it's both. Because the adjustment okay. is for the markup. So how much market did you lose? 12. Right. Okay. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah, and how yeah, much yeah. stock did you actually lose? 24. All right. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you lost stock and you lost the well, markup. Uh, the markup, yeah. The profit. Yes. Okay. 24. Uh, ooh, sorry, I wrote that here. Wrong place. This side. Yes. Okay, sure. okay, there we go. All right, and then okay. here you'll write branch adjustment. Well, branch expense. Branch adjustment. And branch adjustment. Okay. Okay, for the stock that was stolen. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll highlight that. There's the debits, and you've got the credits. Okay. Happy? Happy. Next. 
The net proceeds of the annual sale amounted to 360. Inventory was sold at selling price less 10%, and no entries were made in the books concerning this price reduction. Okay, so we need to record this transaction if no entries are made. Do you agree? Yes. All right, okay. so net proceeds of the sale. So if it's net proceeds, and remember this was sold at selling less 10%, do you agree? Yes. Okay, so do you agree if I'm looking at the ratio, the ratio here is less 10%. Okay, 10% okay, of the selling price is 15. All right, so the net is how much? 135. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. All right, so do you agree the net in this question was how much? One, uh, 360. 360. All right, yeah. so I want to know what this is what the selling price is, because that's a missing figure. I need to know what the selling price of the asset was before I gave the discount. So 360 plus 10%. 360 plus 10%, no. Will that not give you your selling price? No, try again. Because they, they, so they obviously had a price and they gave you 10% discount. Yeah, so how do I get the selling? How do I get that? Uh, so but I need to get to 360. Yes. And I need to get... 360 something. times what? Times 150 one over 135. Alright, it's what you want over what you've got. Yes, okay. Okay. Alright, okay. so that's the answer. How much is it? 400. Okay, what's 10% of 400? 40. Yeah, so that's perfect. Yes, it's 40. Yeah. Good. Okay. And now it, is, it will be 400 times 100. No, 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 no. You don't have to work out cost. Okay, well, if you want to work out cost, that's fine, but um, it's not that important now. Okay, but let's do it anyway. Okay, 400 times 100 divided by 150. Yes. Yeah. Okay, if you want to do that working now, let's do it. Times 100 divided by 150 gives me that. Seven, yeah. Okay. All right. Do you agree? Yep. All right, but now what? what is this doing? This is accounting for what? The goods that you've discounted. Okay, so do you agree? Yeah. How much stock did the company give you? The company 400. Gave yeah. Okay, so do you agree what came in? So, incoming stock. Incoming stock was 400. Do you agree? Yes. What has the branch sold it at? The branch, scroll down quickly. Sold at, uh, it's in the question. Sold at? 360. Yes. Okay, sold at 360. Okay, so if they sold stock at 360, what is the head office going to be saying? Where's the 40? Yeah, stock went missing. Yeah, stock went missing. Okay, why? But stock didn't go missing. Stock was sold, but at a discount. Yeah. Okay, so this is the missing amount that you need to account for. Because there's the four that came in. The 400 is sitting here. You sold 360, it's sitting here. Okay, the missing amount is the branch adjustment. Yeah. But they, they say in this question that inventory was sold at the selling price less than 10%. So, so does that not mean it's like cost price plus 40 almost? Cost price plus 40? No, it isn't. It's, it's, mathematically, it won't work. You have to do it this way. Cost price plus markup is selling. It's 10% okay. of the selling. So it's actually a 15 discount. Alright. Okay, because have a look, 10% of 150 is 15, so the net is the net is 35. Okay, so if your cost is 10, you're still selling it at a 35% markup. Okay. Okay, because plus 35 equals the net 135. Do you see that? Okay. So it's not plus 40, it's yeah, plus yeah, 35. Yeah. Okay. Okay, because the net price is 135, the cost was 100. Okay, it's just okay. the mathematics. Don't worry too much on, about the maths. As long as you can get that, as long as you can get this, that's all you really need to know. Okay, okay don't overcomplicate it. All right. All right, so 40 is going to be there. Okay, and 40 is going to be here. Okay.
next. Okay, so that's that. Yes. So you only look for the third fourth year, is that it? Correct, yeah. Because you're adjusting for the difference. So you don't have to record that sale of 360? No, the sale the was recorded. That's what they said. Okay. Inventory was sold at selling. Okay. No, no entry was made for the price reduction. Oh, okay. Okay, only the price reduction. If you, if they said you didn't, you didn't capture the sale, then you would capture everything. Oh, I see. Okay, so I, because I wanted to record at three sixty, no, you also can't stopped. because it okay. was recorded. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. okay, just be careful. Yeah, just be careful with the question. Okay. Okay, then number four says inventory invoice to the branch at seventy five rand. Included in the amount above, so it's in there. We're still in transit at the 31st of December. And we're therefore not included in the branch inventory at the 31st of December. That's good. So what happens? So it's still in transit. So do we need to take it into stock or not? Yes, you need to take it out of stock. Yeah, out of stock. Because, uh, okay, because it's included in that amount. Okay. So yeah, it's yeah, included yeah. here. Have you received it? No, we haven't received it. So what must you do? So we must we must credit the branch inventory account. There you go, you got it. Okay, and what are we gonna call it? Goods in Transit. Transit. Seventy five. Take it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, they didn't ask you for a goods in transit T account. If they did, then you would have debited the goods in transit with branch inventory. Okay. Okay, next. Perfect. Next is inventory at selling price. Okay, these are open your closing balances. Well, the one is opening, the one is closing. Good. Okay, so we need to record these. Okay, in the actual T accounts. For what though? For inventory. Yes, branch inventory. Again, we'll assume it's the branch, not the head office. Yeah, okay. Okay, I should have said that. Right, so ooh, oh. I, need to, I need to add that here. Um, okay, I'm going to add a line. Sorry, I should have left the line open. Okay, it looks a bit messy now because I'm adding a line. Okay. Um, uh, okay. All right. Or do you mind if I write it here at the bottom? That's no, fine. Okay. Branch opening balance. Okay, just so it looks a bit better. Okay. Branch opening balance. Okay, it should have been at the top here. Obviously, I should have left a line for the for the, for the balances. Okay. So okay. branch opening. How much was the opening? One thousand five hundred. Okay, 1,500 is again going to have to be split, All right, between markup and cost. All right, I like to show it separately because in this question, it was given as separate. Okay, so right. cost price and markup, and then at least you get marks for both. Okay, so 1,500 times 100 divided by 150. 1,000. Yes, and then divide by 2. Oh. Okay, so there's the opening balance. And then what was the closing balance? 1950 1950 okay so again we're gonna have balance here but oh. for closing okay closing closing all right you said one nine five oh one nine five oh times a hundred divide by 150. 1,300. Yes, okay, and then half of that. 650. Huh? Yeah. Okay, 650. Right, and then that would have been a balance that you've yeah. carried down. And there we can add the two amounts together because that's just the, um, it's just the working. Gives me the 1,950. Okay, was that all right? Yeah. Great. Okay, so now we've looked at the question. All we need to do now is balance the account. Do you see how complicated this account is? Have a look at how many accounts you have to put there. Yeah, exactly. And that's why they like testing it. They'll test this account. I mean, if they test those accounts, there's hardly anything to give marks for here. Exactly. Okay, but there's lots of marks to be given there. Okay, okay which side's bigger? Uh, we need to check. Yeah, we need right, to check. So let's check. Add up all of that. And if I add up all of this, which side's That's bigger? Be, okay, debit. the debit. The debit is bigger, hey? Yes. Alright, so if the debit is bigger, we're gonna have a balancing figure. Alright, so yeah. how much is the balancing figure? Delete that. Okay. Yeah. 
um, I want the same amount on both sides. Alright, so if I balance the figure off, I'm left with how much? Um, the balancing figure is going to be... For the branch adjustment, okay, because we're working out the profit. Okay, okay, so branch adjustment will be the balance. Okay, um, is it bigger? Let's check. Yes. No, it's not. It's smaller. I didn't add properly here. Sum up. Let me sum up again. Because we shouldn't have a negative. We should have a positive because of the profit. Okay, there's 10 that's different. Okay, see that's... If you add up all of that, I think I left out something. I only added that. Yeah, 18,310. I forgot the balance at the bottom. Okay, okay, because remember, in branch inventory, you should be seeing a profit, not a loss. Okay. Okay, because they're selling stock at a cost, a margin, a, a profit. A profit, yeah. Okay, okay, so the profit here is for the branch adjustment. Okay. Okay, which is the gross profit. Okay. Right, so the gross profit here it's small, okay? It's this, okay? Minus this, minus this, minus this, minus this, gives me ten. Okay. okay, and then those sides, those two sides balance. Okay. All right, and in the other accounts you would also balance off, okay? So let's balance off inventory to branch. Okay, inventory to branch is going to be a debit or a credit here. A debit. Okay, so the balancing figure must be a debit for the head office. Okay, it's the profit calculation again. Alright, so this minus that gives me that answer. Okay, a branch adjustment. I'm going to have to balance this account off. Okay, um, which side is bigger here? Credit side. The credit side, yes. Okay, credit side is bigger. All right, um, so if I'm balancing this account off, I'm going to get this minus, minus, minus gives me that amount. Okay, so that amount was the balancing figure, right, for this account, which would have gone through to the actual branch expenses. Okay, the branch expenses account. Alright, so in branch expenses, we're going to record that here. Okay, and that would have been the branch adjustments. Okay, and then we need to balance off this account. Okay, so which side is bigger here? Um, it would be this side. Credit, Credit again. Okay, so the balancing figure, which would have gone through to the head office, is this minus this minus this minus this, gives me that 1297. Okay, and then we've completed the, the question. Okay, um, what I have done here, so what I did here is I recorded this. Um, this might be different to what they have done. I think um, earlier today when we were discussing this example, uh, I think I made a separate disclosure. Okay, yeah. So my disclosure is different here because they didn't show the markup here as well. Okay, they show it there because this is cost plus markup. Remember, cost plus markup gives us 1,500. They should have yeah. split it again. So okay. what they've done in their solution, if you look at their branch adjustment, okay, you'll see here they've got the, uh, the opening and the closing stock. Okay. okay, the the branch in transit. Okay, you'll see this balance here is 5971. Okay, which is the branch gross profit. If I go to my working, all right, you'll see I've got that amount there, which is the 1297, because I haven't taken this into consideration. The markup, okay, and the goods in transit of 75. Okay, the goods okay. in transit of 75 is going to have a profit margin there as well all right so if we split this amount up um this 650 okay this 50 is a debit so you would close it off to the branch expenses so you'd actually you would 
you would show it as a debit share. So it would reduce, uh, would it reduce or increase? It would increase this amount. Right. Okay. It would increase this amount um, to, because that's the profit. Right. Because the profit that they've got here is in the branch adjustment account is 5971. Okay. As the balance figure. Right. All right. There's the balance figure for the branch adjustment. When I had my branch adjustment, where's my branch adjustment? Here's my branch adjustment. I had 6136. Okay, right. but because of the 650. Right, have a look. If I take this minus the, six three, the 650, then I get 5486. 5486 is an amount that doesn't have the goods in transit. Okay, so the goods in transit needs to be taken into consideration because here, um, where's the goods in transit? Here's the goods. Yeah, here's the goods in transit. Goods in transit of seventy uh, of twenty five, and opening balance. Okay, the mark of six six fifty we had, so that's the balance. Okay, in the two in the two accounts, All right? Because the closing balance here would be an opening balance there. Right. Right. So a little bit different because this six fifty is sitting here as a debit. Okay, if this yeah. is a debit then we need to close this off, which will be a credit, and then we'll have a debit on this side of the account, okay, yeah. which makes this side slightly bigger. All right, so it's fine as it is. I'm not gonna change the example that we've got, okay, because what we've got is fine here. I've just shown it separately as part of the branch inventory because they said the total closing stock was at selling price. Okay, if I add up those two amounts, that's the closing stock at selling price because they only showed the 1,500 here as well. Right, so I, I'm not too sure why they chose to, to show it separately at the, as a closing balance because as a closing balance they show it separate but then the opening balance they combine it. Okay, th th that's inconsistent. Okay, they should have shown it both. So for example, let me show you this. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay, this balance of 1.5 was including or excluding? Including. Including. It's selling price. Okay, so selling price must be recorded as the, the full amount okay right. then they've re then they've shown the 1950 which was the full amount because that's at selling so if it's yep. at selling that needs to be the full amount for both okay okay here in the branch inventory then they've separated it okay now here in the branch inventory they've chosen to show it separately okay there's the separate 500 which is at the beginning Okay, and there's the 6550, which is at the end. So they've shown it again in the branch inventory account. Okay, because of yeah. the markup. All right, yeah. but I've shown it as separate here in this account. Okay, which is what yeah. I had here. Let me show you. Okay, so where's it? Here's the 650 and the 130. Here's the 1000 and the 500. All right, so what they've done is they've shown an additional opening balance here. Balance, opening. Okay, they've shown it twice, and then they've shown balance closing here. That's what they've shown in their working. Right, so the opening, they said, was this figure, the 500, which is what we worked out earlier, and the closing, we said, was this figure, the 650. Right, and then they had a balance carry down here. A balance carry down of 650. Right, so if Good. you provide for those figures now, um, what do we get? Sum up. Sum up those two. Um, and then branch expenses would be this minus this minus this minus this minus this gives us the five nine eight six, okay, which is what they've sh uh, which is what they've okay. split, okay. Oh. Um, did I get that the same as them? Let's just check. Uh, five nine seven one. Uh, five nine seven one. I'm out seventy five. Like five and Is it seventy five here? Okay, let's just check what do we have in our working. 62, 12, 40. 62, 12, 40. Um, yeah, that's fine. And the other side is fine. Oh, okay, I see. The missing figure that I don't have here is for the goods in transit. Okay, the 75. Right, 75 here will be the 50 plus the 25. Okay, which gives you 75. Okay, so they've chosen to show the goods in transit here as well as 25, which is split. Okay, because goods in transit here would have been um, this, the full amount, the 75, 
then you would have had 25 sitting here. Okay, so if I put the 25 here for the goods in transit, I then get, uh, put 25 in. Okay, so then I get, uh, I'm going to have to adjust this. Okay, minus that now. Um, wh why isn't it balancing? Are the, t are the totals different? Let's just check. Okay, delete the branch expense. No, undo that. Uh, which side is bigger? Sum up. Sum up that side. Oh, come on, come on. Sum up. Okay, hold on. The formulas are mess. Um, uh, 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 aren't, aren't right here. Undo. Um. Okay. Now, what happened here? Um. We need to balance this side off. Equals sum up. Okay. The branch adjustment, which was this figure. Okay. So we need to add up. If I add up, that was the branch adjustment of 10, which would have gone here, branch inventory, brackets the markup of 10. So there's the 10 here. Okay, um, let's fix up the formulas, sum up all of that. Okay, I want that on that side. Okay, there we go, 5971. 5971, is that what they had? Yes, okay, so 5971 is the month they had here. Okay, so I forgot to reference this. That was the mistake. Okay, I'm going to highlight that. Uh, let's highlight that in uh, black. Okay. Right, I forgot to reference this. We wrote it in. I didn't write it in here. That was the problem. That's why it didn't balance with the, with the other amounts. Okay, so yeah, I don't think if you if you if you're writing this down as I do it, um, you would have uh, you would have seen I left out that ten. Okay, I wrote down branch adjustment there. I didn't put it in the branch adjustment. That was the mistake. Okay, so then add and subtract, and I got the fifty nine seventy. Uh, the five no the five nine seven one. Then the five nine seven one is branch expenses. That goes there. That's fine. Okay, that side's bigger. So that side's bigger. And then the net profit would have been the difference between that. Yeah, that formula is correct. Okay. And now, okay, we've got it in line with their solution. Okay, Neil. Okay. Okay. All right. The last one is short. Um, 9.3. Exercise right. 9.3. I'm just going to look at the branch inventory account because that's the only account that is tricky in this particular one. Okay, right. branch inventory. Branch inventory will always be the focus when right. it comes to testing exams. Okay, um, these sections didn't come up in the assignment, so it may or may not come up in the exam. If you look at what? assignment two, which we'll look at on Monday, um, the oh. only thing that they test there is um, share valuation, so the shares, the, the disclosure yep. for CCs, and the cash flow, that's it. Okay, so cash flow is a good question to do as practice to see how well you cope with the T accounts. Alright, so let's look at this last bit. I'm just going to cover the branch inventory account here in this one. Perfect. Okay, so let's look at each of these points. Inventory to branch. Neil, where does that go? That goes inventory to branch. So your, invent your branch inventory account will be debited. Yes, it'll go up. And now we need to split this, eh? So 64,500 must be split between branch adjustment and branch inventory. Okay, so um, I'm going to skip a line in case of balances. So I don't, I don't leave that out, and then I'll write down branch uh, inventory to branch. Okay, the inventory to branch would have been at cost, and then you would have had the branch adjustment, which would have been at markup. 43,000. Uh, was that the total? Selling price. Okay, so 43 okay, so times 100 divided by 150. Okay. Uh, 43 is the cost price. 
Uh, oh, 43 is the cost price. You worked it out already. Okay, 64,500. Sixty-four, five hundred, forty-three. Sixty-four, five hundred minus that gives us the branch adjustment. Okay, so that's inventory to branch. So that's done. That's correct. Yes. Okay, so you've done. recorded that particular adjustment in this account. Right. Okay. Where do in I put inventory this? Inventory returned to head office at selling price. So that will credit your inventory, your bronze inventory account. Good. Yeah. It will decrease the account. Well done. Okay, so that would have decreased the account. This was the returns. Yeah. So it's 1,100 times 1 times... What was the amount? 1,800. Yeah. 1,200. Yes, 1,200 and then 600. Oh. Okay, good. Next. Okay, so next is cash sales of bronze embezzled by a cashier. If it's an embezzlement, okay. what does that mean? But no idea. It's a, a it's theft. Okay, it, oh. to embezzle money is to steal. Oh shit, I can't even know that. Okay, so yeah, that means theft. Okay. Okay, wow. so where will I put that? So it'll be an expense. Yes, branch expense will be affected because this relates to the cash that you would have sold at the branch. Okay. Good. But you just have to reduce the stock. You do record it against the stock because the branch inventory shows the buying and selling of goods. Okay. Okay, so cash stolen. Bank, uh, not bank. Branch expenses. Yeah. 375. 375, that was the theft. Yeah. Good, next. Next is cash sales by branch. After deducting local pur purchases, cost price 500. Right, where are we going to put that? <laughs> Oh no, shit, sorry, we missed one, Anthony. I missed admin expenses. Okay, you missed admin, okay? Yeah, but we're not going to look at it, we said. Why not? Because you said we're only looking at the branch inventory account. Okay, but where would you put it, though? Just tell me where you put it, though. Oh, it'll be at the branch expenses account. Yes, okay, you'll affect the bank and the branch expenses. Yeah. Perfect, okay, next. Gas sales by branch. Do you not have this uh, uh, amount in your book? Which one? This one, 150 for the discount. Oh no, I don't have it in my book. You don't no. have it in your book. Okay, because this, this was the 2017 um, uh, book that they've got on my Unisa. So if you, if you download this from my Unisa, this is what the book looks like. Do you not oh, have no, 150? No, I don't. Okay, but is 150 in your solution for the discount? Let's have a look. So it will be under what? In what? Um, it would have been part of the branch adjustment. Uh, here's it. Do you have that in your answer? No, I don't. I've got 120, 30, 25,600. Okay, you don't have that in your answer. No. Okay, that's odd. Okay, so they've removed it. They've taken out of, of that of that book. Okay, that's no. strange. Okay, but I mean, this is the one from my Unisa, um, the downloadable copy from my Unisa no. for 2017. Uh, I'm not too sure why they they, uh, they might have updated the books and maybe they uploaded the wrong version onto the my Unisa portal. Okay, so you don't have the discount. Uh, okay, so maybe add the discount because it could be something that could come up. Uh, okay. Obviously, all the other amounts are the same, right? Um, 41,520,850, yes. Okay, so this is just an extra amount that was omitted from, from your book. Okay. okay, so maybe just include it as well. It's just something additional that we can discuss. Okay, okay, if I do have a discount that's granted to debtors, we spoke about it in the notes. What account yep. do I affect? Um, expenses. And? And, well, and your debtors account. Yes, okay, because this is a discount for the debtors. So your branch yep. debtors will come down. Yeah. Okay, and then you'll record that as an expense as part of the branch expenses 
or a branch adjustment depending on which you use. So you will credit your debtors and you will debit your expense? Your branch expense or your branch adjustment, either or would be fine. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Right, so I'm going to record it in. Uh, okay, we won't record it because branch inventory won't be affected here. All right, that's fine. All right, let's go back. Keep going. Okay. Next. Check your sales by branch. Um, after deducting local purchases, cost price of 500 is 41,500. So we've sold stock of 41,500, but we've bought stock with 500 rand. Is that my understanding it correctly? Correct, yes. Correct. Okay, so after deducting the local purchases, you had net sales of 41,500. Okay, are we going to show net sales or gross sales? Uh, net sales. Gross sales, because you're gross. looking at everything they sold. Okay. Okay, uh, if it's a local purchase, then that purchase should have been shown separately. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, Okay, so yes. the 500 must be shown separately. So okay. I'm going to show the sales. How much were the sales? 41,500. Okay, they were cash sales. Yeah. No, 41,500 was after, so it's 42. Okay. It's before, it's 41,500 so plus 500. It's before okay. the purchases. So after deducting the couple of After oh, deducting, yeah. see, after. So that's the gross. That's the gross. Okay. Okay, okay then you need to write down, um, obviously, if you're paying, then you would have bank here bracket local purchases. Okay. Okay, because it's often before. So it's disclosure. Okay. I'm showing the sale and I'm showing the purchases. They're both All affecting right. bank. Okay. Okay, it shouldn't make a difference if you showed one off the other. So if you don't show this and you just show 41,500, it's the same effect. Okay. Okay, but I don't know if they'll award the same amount of marks for it. They, may, they might if you show the working. Okay. Okay, next. Is, um, must you delete that 500 there on the debit side now? What? No, you need to leave it. We'll, we'll leave it because we showed the gross. 42 uh, and 5. Okay, all right. Okay, if I show zero here, then I'm going to show 41.5 here. Okay, perfect. All okay. right. I'm going to leave it as is. All right. Okay, next is credit sales of branch. So again, we will credit our assets and our debtors will be debited. Yeah, the debtors will be debited. Good. And you'll credit the? The branch inventory by 20,000. Okay, how much did you sell? 20,000. Perfect. Next. Next is the rent expense of branch paid by head office. So that will go to your branch expenses account. Good. And then bank would be affected by head office because they've paid for it. Correct. Okay. Then inventory damage is at selling price is 300. So we would credit the branch inventory account again. Good, because you're reducing the account because of damaged stock. Nice. And okay. we would deb and we would debit the uh, branch adjustment account, I suppose. Adjustment or expenses, yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter which one you use here. Okay, damaged goods. Okay. Uh, right, because the one gets closer to the other, so that's fine. Okay, so uh, what is the amount? Three hundred. Three hundred, yeah. Okay, so we need to show it separately. Okay, so uh -huh. if it's branch expense, then it's the cost, and then if it's the if it's the markup, then it's the adjustments. Okay. Okay, so cost price markup. Cost price will be 200, markup will be 100. Okay, thanks. There we go. 200 and 100. Yeah. Great, next. Next is credit losses of bronze written off. Okay, but that will only affect the, the debtor's account. It will not affect the inventory account. The credit losses will affect the debtors, correct, and the branch expenses. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Next. Okay. Okay, that's it. Now we need to look at the additional information. Okay, good. Okay, one we've covered. That's just giving us the sale price again. Number two was the opening balance and the closing balance. All right. That, does that go into branch inventory? Yes, definitely. Definitely, yeah. So we definitely need that one. So 4.5 oh. and 4.8. Okay, so 4.5 will go here. Balance. Brackets cost price. Balance. Brackets markup. Okay. So that is that day that five thousand or four thousand five hundred? 
Yeah, times 100 divided by 150. Sally, so 4, 5 times 100 divided by 150 is 3,000. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Right, right, then you also need the closing balance, which was yeah. 4, 8. So 4, yeah. 8 times 100 divided by 150 gives me 3,200. Yeah. 1,600, yeah. Yes, okay, good. And then obviously I'll have a balance carry down. And balance carry down will be this plus that. Yeah. Okay, obviously the 4, 8 the total. Okay, is that right? Yeah. Okay, next adjustment. It is estimated that theft of inventory amounted to 360 selling price occurred during the year. This amount must be taken into account during inventory reconciliation. Okay, so more theft. Yeah. Okay, where is this going to go? So again, we, it will be an expense because it's a theft, but then also we will have to credit the inventory, bronze inventory account. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to copy, uh, where's the theft? Here's the theft. Alright, so branch 40, Cost price, markup no, 240 and 120 240 and 120, great Okay, okay. next The so next, during the year the branch donated inventory So this again we will credit the inventory account by 60 Rand Towards the local charity fundraising campaign Good Okay, so they gave you cost Do I still need yeah. to work out markup? No. Yes, because oh, yeah. in this account, everything. Yeah, it will be thirty rand. Is at selling price. Yeah. All right, so you do need to account for it. Okay, so this is a long, long T account. Okay, so this was for a donation, so branch expense. Cost, price, and markup. Yeah. Okay, uh, what, what was it? 60, eh? So 60 and then half of 60 yeah. is 30. 30, yeah. Okay, good. Next. Next, this inventory purchase locally was also sold at cost price plus 50. Uh, well, okay, so really? that purchase that you bought, we need to provide for the? That 500 rand. Yes, we need to provide for the? For the markup. Yes. Okay, that's what they're telling us there. Alright, so mark up here is half of it, divide by two. No. Alright, next. We've lost a lot of screen here because we're still stuck here somehow. I can't see what you've done now for the last few. Sorry, what was wrong? I'm saying your screen is stuck. I haven't seen a, a, the last few changes. The last change I saw was when you typed at 120 for the branch expense in line 14. Oh, okay, let me, uh, let me just... Let me you added the 500 and you added the 250. Okay, so what did the last point say, Neil? The last point says that inventory purchase locally was sold at cost price. So that is that 500 which we recorded next to the 41,500. Yes, and that was the cost. What? You still need to provide for the marker because everything in this is at selling price. Yes, alright. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, so then you've got that. Okay, what's the next point? No, that's the last one. Oh, is that the end? Okay, so now we just need to balance this account off. Alright, All right. so let's add up. Okay, so it's equal sum all of this. Okay, gives me that answer there. Sum up all of this. Which side is bigger? Uh, which side? Six nine seven five zero oh, six nine two five. Okay, that side slightly bigger. All right, so yep. debit side slightly bigger. So balancing figure. Credit side. Credit side. All right, and this would have been for the actual yep. branch expenses or adjustments. Right. All right, and the balancing figure is this minus that. Minus this balance carried down, minus that, minus the sum of all of these other accounts. Okay, it gives me 25 as the balancing figure in that account. Okay, which would have gone through to the branch inventory account. Okay, so this is a massive account. Right, it's a popular account. If, if this section does come up, they're going to test branch inventory because you need to provide for adjustments and it will most likely be at selling price. Yeah.
This is not too bad, actually. It's not bad. You, you're actually very good with the debits and credits. I'm impressed. Normally you struggle with that, but not tonight. No, tonight I'm really finding it easy. Yeah. Yes, that's that's impressive. That's good. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Definitely, yeah. And it's still early in the semester. We've still got lots of time. We've got the whole of April to do revision and pass papers. Perfect. Okay. All right, Neil, Next. happy with that section. Yeah, very much. Yes, if, every, if only everything went that smoothly. Okay, awesome. Great. Well, I'm glad. <laughs>